Hi and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Daniel Knott and I'm happy that you're here today. Today's video is about another really nice community project that I found online some weeks ago and I thought that's perfect for my channel to actually give the community project some credits and also us to give us another unique insight in community projects. If you haven't seen, I will link one of the other community projects that I was like talking about in my previous videos uh, out there. And if you would like to know more about the community projects I was already talking about, check the video description below to find everything about it. So let's take a look on the project that I would like to show you today. So the first tool that, or that not the first tool, but the tool I, that I would like to talk about here, or like it's not a tool, it's like the overview or the website project, it's called Test Dev Tools. And it says 300 plus uh, hand-picked tools resources for everything testing needs. And it's basically a curated directory of software testing tools resources to help solve software testing topics or issues or challenges. Sorry for the interruption of the main video. I would like to thank you, the main sponsor of today's video, and it's Shiftse, the community about quality engineering. If you're a developer and tester, DevOps or product specialist, don't hesitate to jump over to Shiftse community to exchange with like-minded people. You can exchange with people on all tech and quality related topics, from software development to software design, software testing, security performance testing and whatnot. And also the latest trends in tech uh, world are covered in the Shifts in community. You can browse through excellent topics, blogs and videos. The Vibrant community is hosting regular webinars on the latest tech trends like AI. At the same time, you can participate in challenges and win cool prizes. But what is more important than winning prizes? Well, it's to create new professional connections and who knows, maybe new ways for your career. Another great benefit for being part of the community is to ask questions. In case you have a specific question, raise it at the Shifts in community and community member will help you with your challenge or will guide you to the next step in order to solve this. Give it a try. Thanks to Tricentis in creating such a cool tech community. It will help all of us to grow. So see you in the community and make sure to sign up using the link in the video description and start your community collaboration today. See you later and now back to the main video. And if you, if you go uh, down the road, you can see you have, there are a lot of categories that you can pick from. So there's API testing, there's accessibility testing and so forth and so forth. And so let, let's take a quick look on API testing. So if you open up a, a different category, you can see that there are like tools actually listed on that section that can help you in order to test um, APIs. So there's Firecam, Thunderclient VS Code, I mean, there's a mock service worker, mock on, and so forth. You can see there's a lot of stuff going on here, and they have even more pages. Uh, on, on the tool overview, you basically get, yeah, as I said, you get a name, you get some information if it's like a free uh, or like open source or is it free with a paid option possibility. You can also go and click on read more to find something out about the tool that, um, that is listed here, basically. And then, of course, you can share it on social media. And you also get some more related API tools um, listed. So that, that's the really cool thing. So there are a lot of tools already listed on the test dev tools. However, I browsed through some of the categories and I was uh, seeing that there are like some tools missing. Like for example, I mean, uh, looking at the, uh, the mobile testing tools, uh, where was it again? I think it was like down the road. You go on tags, for example, so going for Android, and you can see here there's like 16 plus Android tools listed uh, that that are like covered in, in the on the on the side. But I, for example, I was missing Maestro, right? So I, I was missing Maestro because you can use Maestro. Also, if you haven't seen my Maestro video, take a look at my video list. Uh, you can use it perfectly for Android automated testing. So the cool thing is if you notice that there is a tool missing or you think like, oh, look, this tool should be like better explained or so, so uh, stuff like that, you can basically suggest the tool. So all you have to do is you click on that link and then you enter the, the uh, form that you can see over here. 
So enter your name, credentials, blah, blah, blah. No, no, not credentials, but your email and then the description of the resource that you would like to be added to the tool. And then it will be checked by the, basically by the community project creator, will, which we come to in a second. And then this person will add the tool to um, the overview here. So with that, we can help support that community project grow. Um, so what I just mentioned, you can also have um, the, the read more function over here. So you can, as I said, you can go to the detail page. Uh, on the other side, you can also uh, click on that link and then it links you out to basically to that tool for installation instruction and so forth and so forth. <clears throat> so that's, that's the cool part. Um, now, what do you also have? Of course, you have a search. If you click on the search, you can have the filter by categories, filter by tags. Uh, you can also subscribe to a newsletter, which I um, can recommend. I already signed up for the newsletter. Um, you get some latest articles, what's going on in the, in the testing industry, quite, quite interesting. So now, what, like, who is actually the creator of that uh, community project, how I call it, basically? It's, um, yeah, there's like a quick overview of, well, hey, welcome to DevTools, and it's Pritesh. And Pritesh doesn't know that I'm doing the video right now, so I think he will be surprised. Because I, th I think it's, it's always nice to give credits back to our community, to people who like yeah, sit down and, and build the product and build the, the project and then uh, spend lots of hours and you know, create the topics and create the tools and then list them online for us as a testing community. I think we can all um, only benefit from that. And so with that, thank you Pritesh for, for creating the testdev.tools. Um, I think it, it's really, really helpful for us in order to learn more about tools. And also, for example, if you need, as I just said, it, what, what was it in the beginning, an API testing tool or maybe an accessibility tool. Uh, so if you would like to really test something quickly or you need to get some inspiration and on what tools are there for accessibility, for example, or for email testing. So you get, you get some really nice ideas on where you can start looking it's a, it's a great starting point for you to di dive deeper into the tools evaluation um, yeah, process, so to say, right? So if you haven't uh, done yet, check out the tool uh, or the community project testdev.tools. Check it in the video description down below. If you, submit, if you miss a tool in the list, go ahead, hit that suggest button to uh, give Britesh um, some, some more tools that he can add to the, to the overview. And only if we really participate and contribute to that tool, we can make it bigger, we can grow it, and we can learn all from that. So that's the cool part. Yeah, and that, that was basically my video for today. It was a, it's a shorter video than usual, but I really like that project and I would like, love to, you know, to share the news with you. Um, as always, leave a thumbs up, leave a subscription if you would like to support me. Also leave a comment down below if you have more community projects that you think are worth mentioning here on my channel. I can take a look at them, record a video and then you have them available also for others to watch. Thank you and see you soon.